dear friends in today's first reading from the book of second timothy chapter 2 st paul beautifully speaks to us saying if we die with him was 11 onwards we will also live with him if we endure hardship in walking with god in loving god in living as a child of god on this earth we don't escape hardship struggle and pain because no seed complains that its outer part is broken but it is so happy to become a plant a tree so no mother complains that she carries a baby and the suffering to bring forth a human person and no one should focus on our struggles but rather the child that we bring out to the world the love that we bring the god whom we can give it to this world should be the focus of our life i am born from him god of love can i bring forth his love to this loveless world that's why he says if we endure hardship we will also reign with him if we move with him we will realize his love his power his grace is part of our lives guiding our lives reigning means ruling our lives yes if we deny him no 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 i want my own thinking i don't want any hardship i don't want then if we deny him he will also deny us if we are unfaithful still he remains faithful because his love is eternal that's what timothy teaches us and in the gospel very simply jesus gives a great solution for every human problem love your god with your whole heart with your whole soul with all your strength and love one another yes god loves us so much that we must move with his love and if we return back from his love if we move away from his love he won't accept us very simple clear message he tells us he loves us so much if we move with his love the world will move with us we can move the world if we don't accept his love and try to find love in the world try to find love for ourselves he won't accept us in the sense that won't build up our lives jesus came to this earth a man who lived in a very big house the heaven leaving that big house and comes to this earth i know in my village a man who was known for generation that is a very rich man they had their own well their own lands but when his son went for higher studies to america from the village which is unthinkable those days so he sold his big house so many people came for competition to buy that house 
but he sold that house and he was living in the same street in the corner of the street a little hut later i realized many people used to go to that huts to see him how his feelings how his emotions but that man was always joyful because he said i sent to my son to america he became sick so okay my body is sick but not my love my love is still alive so he sold whatever god has given is sufficient and that's what happened to jesus he left his heavenly home for the sake of loving you and me it's not a joke to be born a human being and struggle with us in the book of hebrews chapter 5 verse 7 says at times unable to bear the pain jesus cried with the louder cries and bitter pain this is the hard reality of jesus we easily forget his love for us i have seen also a village in which i was working called tupran in near mechal a lady uh, who was selling vegetables she sold her thali to buy a motor bike because from tupran to mechal is almost more than 25 kilometers so she sold her thali and bought a motor bike for her son and sent him for studies it is the sacrifice that is behind the love the suffering and pain that is so much involved which is made of love and that's why jesus says i have loved you with an everlasting love remain in my love and then you will live do you want to live the secret is remain in my love he says when you love the lord with your whole heart all your emotions and feelings will be smoothened by his love the moment we remember i have someone who has loved me that is the way st paul built up himself he says in galatian 2:20 he says i live by the one who has loved me and gave his life for me now no more no longer i will live we need to feed our emotions every day with his love we need to feed our hearts today our main problem in the world is we don't fill ourselves with his love and we look as loveless beings we run around will you love me will you accept me will you care for me there is nobody for me loneliness suicides because we don't feed ourselves every day with his love that's what he says we remain as loveless being crying who will love us second when the lord says when we love the lord with our whole mind love enters into our thinking into our planning and love transforms our mind with positive thinking the thinking mind is filled with the love of god understands three basic things of man our identity our security and our purpose of living and all these three things are fulfilled when our mind is filled with the divine love i know 
that I am God's child. Mm-hmm.